Now this story, women are bringing home the bacon. In South Africa, almost 38% of households are headed by females. A study at UNISA hopes to generate a discussion on stereotypical gender roles in the country. Bulen Sikhalo, an associate professor of psychology at UNISA, joining us now this lunchtime to discuss this research. Uh, Bulen, good afternoon. Thank you very much and welcome to lunchtime. My understanding is you've, you undertook this uh, research last year. What led you to begin to try and understand Who's a breadwinner, who's not, and what's the role of women? Um, okay, um, thank you very much for the opportunity. This was actually a study conducted uh, alongside a colleague of mine, uh, Dr. Bianca Perry, and the interest was that we know that um, they ha there are women who are breadwinners. Uh, there's been a lot of research conducted on this, uh, looking at the statistics in terms of the numbers of women. But what we were interested in was to look at the lived experiences of women who are playing this role, who are breadwinners uh, okay. in their various families, and how they, they, they manage their role as breadwinners, uh, but also their role as women more broadly and the expectations that society has on women. And what did you find? What stood out for you in this research? Um, what, what stood out for us uh, was that women have to juggle multiple uh, realities, uh, multiple challenges. We know that a lot of women have to engage with what we call unpaid labor in the home. And, and one of the main things that also stood out was that even though women are now in the workplace and many of them are breadwinners, this does not necessarily lead to uh, the, the reducing or minimizing of other roles that they have to play within the home as well. For example, uh, childcare, domestic uh, chores that they have to do as well, but also generally taking care of the elderly within the home. And this became more visible uh, during COVID-19 when things changed and uh, children had to be homeschooled and they had to learn online. So in addition to main women who are breadwinners having to juggle work, they also had to tutor and teach children at home. And, and we wanted to highlight this in terms of uh, the challenges that are confronting women who are breadwinners. And what about the dynamic of relationship with men? How did you ask the women how are men in their circles re responding to them as the breadwinners who have so many tasks, as you've just explained? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, yes. So one of the things, again, is when it comes to interpersonal relationships, uh, we know that we live in a country where patriarchal uh, systems are still very much entrenched in society, even though we speak of gender equality, even though we speak of the doors opening for women. But unfortunately, some of the traditional ways in which uh, women and men are perceived and the assumed roles that they play in society remain. So so even though women are working, they're independent, they're self-sustaining, uh, they are empowered, they are achieving in lives in terms of qualifications and work that they do, they also have to you know, uh, engage with uh, the challenges that they're confronted with in their interpersonal relationships when it comes to being breadwinners. Some of their partners have lost their jobs, um, and that's why they're breadwinners. Uh, some of them are breadwinners because they're of divorce, uh, and, you know, many women are living in single-handed, uh, single-headed, single-parent-headed uh, households, and that's the reason why they're breadwinners. But one of the things that the women highlighted was the sense of insecurity that unfortunately some of their partners, some of their spouses feel um, when women are the ones who, as we say, you know, are bringing, are bringing the bread into the mm -hmm. home. So there again, there is an opportunity in terms of what can be possible in terms of communication, in terms of trust, in terms of uh, being able to relate to one another when the roles have shifted uh, according yes. to what society expects uh, of men. Mm -hmm. So unfortunately, those insecurities have led to challenges in some of the women's uh, relationships, personal relationships it in the home. It must be very hard. Again, sometimes that can lead to violence. And in this uh, world of ours where gender 
roles are evolving. Thank you very much, Puleng. We'll look forward to the next part of your, of your research. Don't stop here. That's uh, uh, Puleng uh, uh, Sikhalo. She's, of course, the Associate Professor of Psychology at UNISA. Now, let's